Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today we're talking about the fifth beta of iOS 16. This is an amazing update. It just got released yesterday. We were expecting it actually today or tomorrow, but Apple has released it on a Monday and from now on you can actually expect Apple to release every new beta of iOS 16 on Monday and most likely every week from now we will get a new beta. So let's talk about beta 5 and see what's new. We have some amazing new features. Actually we have more than 20 new features that Apple has added to iOS 16 beta 5. Now before we get into the features, I just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. I've noticed that most of you guys that are watching my videos are currently not subscribed to the channel, so please make sure to do so, it really helps out a lot. Now the first thing I've noticed is that when the update came to my device, you can see here it's at around 1.3 gigs, it actually says iOS 16.0. It doesn't say iOS 16 Dev Beta 5, but it only says iOS 16.0 which is really interesting. Of course, the biggest feature of iOS 16 beta 5 and probably for most people will be one of the biggest of iOS 16 is the ability to now have the battery percentage on the status bar on your device. Now, this is actually really cool. They will have a few different modes here. Now, first of all, you can enable this by going to settings, going to battery and you will have right here battery percentage. Now you can see right there you will get like a filled up battery icon with a number right there indicating the battery percentage. It is on white of course when you have like a darker background it will be on black when you have a lighter background and it will change color based on what you're doing. When you're charging your device it will turn green and of course it will also show you the charging indicator. And it will also turn red when your iPhone's, iPhone's battery is actually on low battery. That means below 20%. And also if you enable low power mode, you can see it will actually turn yellow. So it has a few different modes. When it drops down below 20%, you will have like an, an icon that's different from this one. It won't be filled up like this. It will only have like the icon with a bit of battery at the end and of course it will be red so a very very nice touch we have been wanting this feature for years finally after five or six years apple has decided to bring back the battery indicator on the status bar here is another amazing feature of iowa 16 beta 5 Take a screenshot, you want to send it to someone, you have probably a bunch of different screenshots that you just took to send it to someone, a DM or an email, whatever that is, and you have them all saved right there on your device, just taking up space. Well, this new feature will let you just tap the dumb button and have the new option here to copy and delete. Tap right there. The screenshot is deleted, but it will be copied on the clipboard of your device so you can paste it and send it anywhere you want and you don't have to have it saved locally on your device. As you know with iOS 16, whenever you have your AirPods connected to your device, you will have a section that will appear at the top of your settings app. Now right here we have a change, you can see where it says version, this is the version of the firmware for the AirPods. Now you can actually tap on it and it will show you here the version of the AirPods and the case as well. Now this might be an indicator that probably in the future Apple will allow us to actually update the firmware on the AirPods directly from here instead of having to update just by connecting your AirPods and just waiting around without knowing whether they will update or not. On the settings app you will have a new section if you go to Siri and search before searching you have show suggestions and also show reasons so you can enable or disable whether you want to show these before searching this means that when you go to the spotlight search you won't have the suggestions right there without you doing a search another thing that has changed on the settings app if you go under accessibility you will have right here a section to control nearby devices we have now a new icon for this section the SIM unlock screen has been redesigned as well. Now many people have seen this appearing after updating their device. Of course, if you have a lock SIM, you will see this every time your device is rebooted and now we have a new design for that. Also, another small change right here. If you go to the emergency and SOS, let me just do that. From here, you can see now it says emergency call instead of emergency SOS. 
and we have some more changes on the lock screen on iOS 16 beta 5. First of all, we have a music visualizer right there on the music player. What has changed else? The controls now have a different animation. Whether you're playing or pausing or just moving to the next song, or you tap and hold here to go forward or backwards on a song, you will have here new animations, which actually look really, really cool. Now these have changed on the control center as well. You will have new animations right there for the media player on the control center. And also if you tap and hold there to go, to the player right there which expands of course on the control center you will see a bit of a different design and of course you will have the new animations right here for the controls as well another change on the lock screen if you add the city widget right there so basically you have the clock for another city now it will show you right there the name of the city in this case we have new york city it shows nyc instead of just showing the time for another city we have a few changes on the photos app as well first of all once you open the photos app you will see here a new splash screen this will tell you what's new with the photos app on ios 16 of course shared library copy and paste edits and merge duplicates another thing if you use the shared library now you can enable or disable a badge which basically lets someone know that that is from a shared library another thing that i've noticed another change is that when you take a look at the details of a photo usually before this right here used to be here at the top now that they have rearranged it and placed it right here basically this is an indicator from which app you have saved that photo on your library and now it has been placed here and it's like its own field there is also a new splash screen for the home app it will show you basically what's new with the home app if you didn't get this splash screen before you will get it with this beta and also another splash screen for the find my app another thing that has changed on the find my app is that now we have a new ping sound now the ping sound that was on ios has been changed so whether you're trying to ping maybe another device or maybe your apple watch the ping sound will be different starting with beta 5. another thing i have noticed is that apple has added back the subscription button on the app store this was gone and the only way to access this on ios 16 beta 4 was to do it through the settings app also the reachability corners are now rounded again and that's really really nice now of course with ios 16 there were some bugs with ios 16 beta 5 it seems like some of them have been fixed like the bug with the volume slider a lot of people have actually reported this and it looks like now this has been fixed which is really cool another thing here on the home screen the button right there the search button used to turn blue if you would just enable and disable it right here but now it doesn't do that again that turns out to be a bug and it has been fixed with ios 16 beta 5. what i don't like about ios 16 beta 5 is that they have removed perspective zoom there is no way to actually enable it and you won't even see it when you're setting up a wallpaper that's a really cool feature but it looks like apple has removed it from ios 16 hopefully it will be back and now let's talk performance ios 16 beta 5 let's go ahead and take a look right here at the cpu score with geekbench and here we have beta 5 and we have beta 4 right here so on beta 5 single core score 1595 while we have 1581 on the on ios 16 beta 4 a slight increase there on the multi-core score we have a bigger increase here so we have 4109 on beta 5 while beta 4 is at 4038 so we have quite a good increase here on the multi-core score and of course a bit of increase on the single core score so what's next for ios 16 well expect apple to move to a weekly schedule from now as you probably have watched my previous video there is a surprise i can say release of ios 16 it, it is expected to actually be released very soon like earlier than we thought we expect it to be around the end of september but it looks like it will most likely be on september 12th so right here we had beta 5 expect apple to release beta 6 on the 15th on the 22nd we will have of course beta 7 
beta 8 and then we will have most likely the rc on september 5th or 6th it depends on the date which the event will be and then on the 12th we will get the public release of ios 16 a very very exciting update so that's pretty much it for this video guys thank you guys for watching this is an amazing update ios 16 is turning out to be a really really great update thank you guys for watching leave a like if you enjoyed the video i'll see you on the next one